you go, you win this fight, you beat Jake Paul. What is next for you then, Tyron? I think I box some more. You know what I mean? Shit, I want to. I want to. I want to. I want to fight twice this year. So I fight him August twenty eighth, and I think around November I'll be ready to box again. And um, I don't know exactly who, when, where, what, how, but I know that me going out here and doing work is really gonna be put me in position to open up other windows. And um, you know, who knows, man? Who knows what's next? But this may open up the door for me taking some fights at different weights. Um, fighting at 190 and then having to go back to 170 is like, ah, oh. because, you know, the, the amount of money I'm going to make for this fight is going to be quite a bit different than some of the other UFC, um, UFC fights or maybe even, even different promotion that maybe want to do MMA fights. But if you want me to do MMA at 170, now the, the bag is stupid. The best thing that's happened in the last 24 hours is, I'm smiling at my market value is where it's at. It's where it's at. You won't put me on the clearance rack. I won't be on out nine. And, and it seems people tried to do that, Tyron. Like, this guy is done. He's washed. Tyron Woodley, he's, it, it, he's, time's passed. And clearly not. No. Clearly not. August 28th, you're going to see it's not passed. And people are going to want to see more of it. When you hear him say, I'm going to knock Tyron Woodley out in the second round. He said that? your mind. No, it don't matter if he said the second round or the eighth round or the first round or ever. It was a quote that Muhammad Ali said a long time ago. I'm probably going to mess it up, so I'm going to paraphrase it. He said, if you ever dream of knocking me out, wake up and apologize. That's, that's my comment to Jake. <laughs> he said, Tyron's a seasoned striker who has fought the best MMA fighters in the world but will be dropped by a Disney teen star in two rounds. <laughs> when I say this is going to be the, the easiest fight and the biggest payday of, uh, of my career, that's the truth. But that's not because he's an easy fight. It's because I'm going to train my ass off and I'm going to make it an easy fight. That's the difference. The difference between me and preparing and cocky is that I'm going to make it an easy fight because I'm going to kill myself in the training room. I'm going to train my ass off. I'm going to be ready to roll. I'm excited about this. To be honest, I haven't been excited for a fight in a very long time. And I'm excited about this fight. 